This video is recorded to help my students to understand how to write a simple prolog predicts. We will write five uh, predicts. Each of them is a rewrite of a built-in predict. First, we write append. Append x, y, z is probable if and only if z is the result of appending the list y onto the end of list x. So, my append, if I append list A to the end of empty list, of course, the result should still be A. Uh, if I append list A to a line empty list, line empty list so I can divide in head and tail. If I append A to the end, then the results head supposed to still be the same head, but the tail will be changed. So suppose it change to T1. Then this is true if and only if my append, if you append A to the end of T, then you will get a T1. So let's save this. Then we navigate, open the terminal window, navigate to the place where you save it. I save it as document, videos, CSCI. 461. I save there. Then <clears throat> I can use this to look. Example 5. Yes, it's there. Now I will type SWI prologue, then go into the prologue model, then convert example 5.swi prologue. Give me true, that means everything is right. Now, let us try this. You can uh, query in different way. For example, I want to query one, two, then three, four, five, two, x. Now, you can say, I want to say x is the result. You are pending list three, four, five to the end of list one, two. So of course x will be one, two, three, four, five, right? Then another way to query is this. I say x, y will give me one, two, three. Now this requirement say you append what kind of list x, y. If you append y to the end of x, you will result one, two, three. Of course, you have many re uh, results. Prolog will uh, search through and give you one by one. So the first result, x is empty, y is 1 to 3. You append y to the end of x, you will result 1 to 3. Then you type C my column, it gives you second uh, result. Then you type C my column again, it gives you third result. Then fourth result, finally it gives you fourth, which means no more result. Okay? So this is our first function. Let's write the second one. Second one called member. Member xy is probable if the list contains the element of x. Now, <clears throat> well, again, we start from the base case, right? My member. So x, if you give me x and the list, his first element is x. I don't care about his tail. Then this definitely is true, OK? Now, if the first element does not match, Then I have the tail here. Now, if the first element not match x, if it match x, it will go with this uh, rule. If it's not a match, <clears throat> then what happened? I will say, if you want the x is a member of this list, then if and only if x is a member of t. So I will, this will be my member x t. Okay. Now we save it, then go back. You just need to use arrow key. It will give you, uh, you push arrow key several times, go up arrow key, you will go back to this command consult example five. So I hit indicate true, which means my member function is also, uh, my member predicts is also true, uh, good. So let's try it. My member, for example, uh, three, 
in three in the list four two three five six one suppose give me two right so this true now potential he will go through the list to find all the occurrence of three next time is false that means three only happen once now let us give a little bit change suppose i have another three here i have another three here then i have four, seven now let's see what happened so true see my column true find another three true find another three false okay so this member function also good now let us say this select function uh, uh, predicts i mean so select x y z is probable if the least y contains the element x and z is the same as y but with one instance of x removed so in this case <coughs> we we can try this so my select my select if you select a from uh, let's see a and the tail okay now then there is tail that's what be true now say if a is the first element of second list then the result will be just the second list as tail right so you can say uh, a t contains a and the t is the same as a t you remove a okay so this of course is correct now the see next one my select so if i want to select a out of the list you have b c then you have tail uh, t okay now then the result will be b t1 let's say this way how about that now then you can say if i select a out of b c t and the result will be b t1 this equivalency what this equivalency if i select a out of c t then the result will be t1 okay now um, pay attention here is uh, we all i forgot to mention this uh, we always use capital letter start for those like you can say var uh, variables okay now save it then I go here again i use arrow key go up go up come dot true that mean my everything is correct now let us test my select my select for example i want to select a three out of four one three seven okay and i want to say call my result is x let's see how my uh, what what will be x x is supposed to be 417 right yes now try next one we don't have any more okay so we implement the select correct now let's say that's the function we want to implement the next function says uh is called n zero x y z provide that if x is an energy y is a list z is the x element of y we count this from zero so in this case we will say my ends zero if i have zero that means i want the first element and the least first element is x right then the result uh, then this will be x you can say the first element of x followed by any tail then the least his first element is x his zero element is x this definitely is true okay now suppose i want to find the case element okay from the list with the tail of course this time k is not a zero and i say 
if this result will be x, then if and only if I want to find the gs element from the list t and the gs element happen to be x. Now, k's element in this list is x. gs element in the tail is x. So what is the relationship between k and j? Of course, we say k is just j plus 1. OK? Pay attention, we use this. k is j plus 1. OK, now let us save it. Then again, go back to use the arrow key, go to consult, it's still true. Now, let us say my n's 0. For example, I want the th uh, threes element from this list. 2, 1, 5, 6, 4, 2, 7, 6. OK, and uh, I call this element is z. Now, what will be z? Z will be 4, right? Because you count from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3. So Z will be 4. OK? And then no more. OK. Now, let's try another uh, example. You suppose I want to say this integer x. Now I want a 7. Equivalent say uh, if x element in the list is 7, how much is x? Now we know 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x is supposed to be 5, right? Then no more. Okay? Now we can say if you have a repeated uh, elements, let's say I have two 7 here, okay? Then you can predict that x will be 0, 1, 2, x will be 2, and 5. 2, x, 5, then no more. Okay? This is my ends. Uh, predicts. Now, how about my nans? My nans even more simple, right? So we can say uh, my nans first consider the basic case if it's an input list, of course the nans is zero. Okay? So nans xy provided if x is at least uh, of nans y. Okay? So input list his nans is zero. No problem. Now, I say the second one. My lens. Uh, if this list had, I don't care. Look at his tail. Okay. Now, if this lens is y, what does that mean? Then, if and only if my lens of the tail suppose is x, then we must have y is x plus 1, OK? Because the tail's length is x. The head plus tail, the whole list length is y. Then we must have y equal x is x plus 1. OK, now let's save this. Then we go arrow key, go up, go up, uh -huh, go up. OK, turns out true. So it, it means my nans function, uh, my nans predicts is also correct. Let us try. My nans, suppose I give a list is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I say x. Now, equivalent say x is the nans of this list. How much is x? For a period, x equal 5. OK? OK. If you have any questions, please send me email.